Welcome back to the channel. You are watching third video of this series. In this video, we are going to discuss Terraform merge function. We'll learn how merge function works and in which scenario you should be using merge function to make the code more interesting. Hi, hi, my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you are watching Be a Learner. Let's first of all understand what is merge function and how do we use that so if i open the terraform documentation website by typing merge terraform that will give me the detailed description about the merge function how it works so basically the merge function you can apply on the map type of variables so if you have two map variables then you can merge those two map variables with the help of merge function so let's take an example of the merge simplest example of the merge function so let's say we have two variables which is of type map uh, because we are discussing the merge function so we need to declare the variable of type map so here is my project tag variable which has the tags which are required to associate to my resources so these are my project related tags cost center owner of the project and the project name basically similarly i have some global tags which are related to application specific so the tags are what is the name of the environment and application so when i'm going to create let's say a resource i would like to apply both the tags together so in order to apply both the tag to a single resource i can use the merge function so the way i can use the merge function is let's say declare variable for example or let's say declare the output variable for example tags out so here you can use merge and then provide the project tag and then tags where dot similarly you can pass the value as in global tag now if i run this basically it will create the combined list of variable so you can see that the merge function has merged both of my tax variable values so i've got a merged value which has both the tags so now i can use this particular output and apply both the tags into my resources right this is number one now let's say we have another scenario so let me declare a local value here So let's declare a value as in fruits equals to item let's say and here I'm going to declare value as an apple equal and now I'm going to declare another one tables let's say i'm making it as an another so these are my two variables on this if i run the merge function local dot so what happens now is i'm asking the merge function to merge the item collection inside the fruit i have an item as in map so the key of the map is item and the value is this collection similarly i have the vegetable variable the key is item and the value is this collection so now if i'm going to merge basically this is my source and this is the destination so when you're asking to merge this is going to be the keys are same so it will basically replace the the value so let's look at how it looks like let me show the destination basically 
so this this is what i mean like i have mo- i was trying to merge the item of food items which is of type vegetable and fruit so when i try to merge from one item to another item basically the destination item got precedence and that's where the destination is showing here so we have replaced the fruit with this vegetable that's what I, we are saying here so whatever is the item matching here it's basically replacing and if i declare another let's say item one two and then if i declare unknown and now if you run again this time it will show two different items this is what i mean like we have item which is of type vegetables and then there is a unknown item but you might be thinking that both the items are from destination list so let's create the another item item hold let's say and then we are going to create antique let's say and if i run let's see what should be the result so you can see that we have got the item we have got item 2 and so this is from the vegetable list this is again from vegetable or this is from the fruit list so now let's understand we have this key value pair which is a type of map and inside the map we have key as an item and the value as in fruit again we have old key as an item or item old as in key and then value is this in the vegetable we have the key as an item and then key as an item underscore two so the key which is matching this is my source this is the destination so the key which is matching with the destination which destination key which is matching with the source key is going to be replaced because merge function basically looks from source to destination it checks whether it has found the key if it has found the key then it will replace the value it will give the precedence to the destination value similarly if it doesn't find the and now if it doesn't find the key basically it will treat it as a new item in the collection and it will add that would be new item into your collection and basically you will have combined collection so that's the reason this item key this and this which was matched so this has got the precedence and this was basically ignored by the merge function so how you can use so don't get confused with the list concatenation versus using the merge function because so many people used to confuse with the concatenation of list and using the merge function i hope this is clear and you can use the merge function in your scenarios so if it is not let me know into the comment section i'll try to clear it out thanks for watching the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already see you in the next video